Welcome to my channel Swift Learn. This tutorial is a how to change video raw color based on condition in BB.net form application. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Click on New Project. Windows. Select the folder where you wanna save your project. Name the project. My folder is the uh, location is D BB Darden Project Tutorial and the name is change your bureau color dynamically. Okay, my project is created. Now go to the toolbox and uh, add a data grid view control. Just drag and drop. Okay. This is the data grid view control. Now Change the back color of this form. Yes, green. This look nice. Now add a title level. Uh, title is uh, change grid view row color dynamically. Change the font size 20 and the uh, color is white. Yes, now it's nice. The uh, design is ready now. Go to the form load event. This is the form load event. Now, uh, the database my database name is crude tutorial db. Expand the database and expand the table. This is the table user info tab ID name address CDS XMS file. Uh, show table data. These are the records in the database table. I will change uh, color based on sex. Okay. Add a method to load data in data grid view. In that case, I'm just writing method. First of all, uh, I just load data from the SQL Server database to data grid view. Then I will offer the condition uh, uh, for change the grid view or color based on sex column. If it's male, then uh, it will uh, display one column. If it's female, then different column. Okay, now using con as uh, SQL connection equal to new SQL connection. My connection is a property. Yes, this is my SQL connection. Copy the con connection listing and paste it in SQL connection. Okay, done now. Uh, SQL com uh, can open the connection, con that open, and using SQL command. Now using cmd as SQL command equal to new sql command <laughs> my sql command is select start from i already said that i am just uh, displaying all the records in data grid view for that i'm just writing this code okay con name a as sql data adapter you can see all the bb dot the tutorial including crudes in this channel I'm go to the description box below to see the link of the playlist okay now name dt as new data table da dot field dt finally load the data table dt in data grid view data grid view under data source equal to dt okay now call this method in the form load event bind grid debug yes yes all the records are displaying in the data grid view okay just to resize so that you can see uh, the view yeah now i'll change color based on sex value sex column value okay now go to the event uh, cell formatting cell formatting event yes cell formatting just double click on cell formatting okay that I give you under cell formatting this is the cell formatting hidden now for each row as data grid view row in data grid view one dot row yes now if row dot cell first break 
yes see that sex is index 5 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so cell is 5 dot value equal to male if the value index 5 I mean sex column value is male then what happened then row dot default cell style I mean uh, different for color I mean the row rows font color row dot different cell style dot for color dot equal to colored white I mean if the if it smell then the for font color is white and the back color is green just debug what has thing yes the mailer for uh, back color is the male's row back color is green and font color is white if it's female then now I'm just changing the condition if it's female then the different yes now if uh, that records are changed which are female sex is female okay stop debugging yes this is the simple one condition now I am just uh, applying this co uh, code in the index 4 age column in that case row dot cell 4 dot value greater than 26 then row color white and back color green debug yes 29 27 and 20 th 32 these are changed but below 26 is not changed okay now I'm just applying multiple condition if greater than 26 and the row dot cell 4 uh, dot value less than 30 I mean greater than 26 and less than 30 that range yes now 29 and 27 only changed but 32 is not changed yes this is just a uh, uh, multiple how to use multiple condition uh, in uh, to change the category bureau color based on uh, uh, category bureau color okay now adding adding multiple if condition adding second if condition is cell value 4 dot uh, uh, cell value cell 4 dot value greater than 30 if greater than 30 then what happen i mean multiple if condition color white and the color red yes greater than 30 if this is 32 that's why it's uh, red and uh, uh, with 26 to 31 this is these are uh, green 